Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 21 of Nova Arcana. As always, Rock here. So, we got um, Intersection 4. It's gonna be some. Um, we spent the last episode, I was gonna say the beginning, but we spent all of last episode just peeking through the initial parts of all the areas. Uh, kind of broke it down into what we think is gonna be the least worst to the worst. Um... And that's kind of going to be the order we're going to be heading into, at least initially, I would say, um, in Intersection 4. Now, if I go into an area and it's super hard and I die a shitload, then I might decide to uh, course correct to a different area. But for now, I think the order that we're going to go in is the Domes of Doom, followed by the Cathedral of Shadows, followed by the, um, the Great Web, and then lastly, Nova Arcanum. I think that's the order we're going to go in. Um, just based off of our initial observations. Whether we're right or not, different story. <laughs> off of initial observations, I think this is the um, the direction we're going to be going into. So, uh, before we get into things, um, some minor upgrades to our gear um, since the last time. So, went ahead, made some uh, Diamond Protection 3 chest plate, uh, Protection 2 Diamond Leggings, um, now, off in that direction over there, um, I can see it, I believe, from over there, but right from here, I can't see it. Um, there was a patch of diamonds over there, and with our um, Iron Pickaxe, Calamity Crusher, it's got Fortune 2, and we managed to, out of that one patch, get um, a little over a stack of diamonds. So we had uh, a bit of diamonds to work with and kind of made ourselves some um, increased gear. Awesome. <laughs> um, haven't made myself an upgrade to the pickaxe yet, pickaxe yet, purely because of the fact that um, a diamond pickaxe, unless it's got efficiency 3, is not going to be as good as this. So we're going to be sticking with this until we can get um, some means of getting efficiency 4. Now, there is a trade over there that I believe I can do that with, uh, but it's going to require some garnet blocks, which were whoa, a bit short on... Uh, even make it a single garnet block. So we're going to stick with what we got for now and kind of go through here. Um, let's start out by trying to... I hear the creepers and shit. Um, start out by trying to um, secure this initial area here. Um, break any spawners that we can find. Um, I do see one, two. Um, at least those two right there. There. Oh. Right next one there. to a creeper, uh, no, not creeper, blaze spawner, and, uh, shit shot him instead of breaking it. Hi. 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 Okay. So we'll get in this area, quickly break up all the spawners that we can, just to secure it. Get a base protection zone. That's not going to be too hostile. Whew. Okay. So I think we mostly have this area secured. At least that we know of. But <laughs> hopefully mostly secure. We'll get around and get some lighting down just to prevent any potential spawns. Um, I think that's going to be the first big course of action, just pressing forward and making sure our flanks are secure. Um, now, I would also like to think that I want to gather these at some point soon. I'm hoping that I can maybe find something that's efficiency 3 or, worst case, um, uh be able to find the stuff to craft something that's efficiency three or not efficiency um fortune three uh because these would be way better with fortune than uh with not um 
Mole Claw, the Planet Mover. Agency 4, Fortune 3, and a Breaking 4. Wish it wasn't a shuffle. <laughs> it would have been way better as a pickaxe. Okay. Alright. Do that. Clean up the inventory. Try to keep our our stuffs situated. Um, all right. So, oh, we got skeletons ahead. Um, can I get over here? I don't think that's going to do a whole lot, but if I can get close enough. Close enough to destroy these spawners. That will put us in a good place. Okay. So that's secure. Um, okay. We've got a good breather room. Let's take a look at the area. See what we're going to have to deal with. See what we're going to have to deal with and kind of go from there. Um, so each of these globes... Um, they might be on top. Uh, each of these globes look like they have their own kind of a uh, biome per se. Um, so we'll have to be mindful of that. Um, and of course, I see diamond blocks right there. That seems that seems hella trapped. <laughs> and it's looking from here. It kind of almost looks like a uh, creeper face. So even more of a <laughs> More very trap probably. Um, okay, but each of these areas look like they're kind of their own um, little biomes. We'll have to be mindful of what we're seeing in them, and then kind of go from there. Um, outside of that, not seeing anything super impressive, or not sorry, not seeing anything super obvious. Not impressive. I, the whole area is impressive. Um, so initial thoughts. Um, I suspect that anything on this ground level is probably not going to be where we're going to find a record. It's going to be in a higher level or in the back. And what you would expect from most CTMs is that the highest point in the back is probably where you're going to find the record. But we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye out. We'll kind of look around. Um, so let's get over here and try to figure out where to go to. Figure out where to go to next. Um, so we have an upway and downway. Um, let's move the upway first, just to. Um, oh boy. Uh, move the upway first, just to clear anything that could be dropping down onto our head. And we do have some more garnets out here, which is good news for the future, but doesn't really do a whole lot right now. Hello. stuff <laughs> okay anything interesting <laughs> oh okay the mom's with some knockback was that a spark okay. you came from, but not anywhere that I want you to be coming from. Maybe from above. Um, okay, let's, let's work our way getting upwards. Um, see if I can get around and kind of... I'll high five them. Um, try to... Oh, wait a minute. I'm hoping that was a natural spawn. Oh, spawn right there. Hoping that was a natural spawn and by the sounds of a second one. I'm leaning towards... Nope. Uh -huh. Oh, and please. Awesome. Ow. 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 Oh. I didn't know, um... I didn't know, um... 
shields can block the phantoms. I mean, I should have known. Oh, that's a spawn right there. Okay, that should block that. Should be able to get over here and get that spawner. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm just gonna go right here. <laughs> oh god! Is there more? Am I any closer to anything? <laughs> no? Okay. Well. I got myself up to the top area. Um, I mean, can I see anything interesting from up here? There's a blaze that obviously we want to deal with. Um, but outside of that, is there anything interesting up here? No, I don't think so. I guess let's continue on with where we were. I guess follow the stairs, go around like this. Um, maybe try to get up top and block off the uh, potential spawners that are up here, which there's got to be. Um, now I'm curious as if like up here, this upper area is more of gonna be like uh, extra loots and stuff. Maybe we'll find some diamonds. Ooh. Maybe we'll find some diamonds. Maybe we'll find some um, garnet plaw pops pods. Um, let's at least get some torches down. Is that fire, yeah, blazes. All oh, blaze buddies. Okay, so there is some garnet up here. That's good. Kind of open for blocks, but I mean. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> um, get some lighting up here. Oh, that area looks like it's going to be hell. All of them. All of them are hell. Okay. Um, I guess there's just... We'll obviously get more torches on the bar, but um, go ahead and torch up a little bit more. Make sure this upper area is secure. I mean, it's one less uh, place that we're going to have to worry about. We see some obsidian over there, which is always a... Uh, is that a portal? Is it we going to another nether area, maybe? Um, I see the spawner right there. Hi, Creeper. needs to be dealt with, I think. That might be the blaze spawner. Oh, that's the blaze spawner right there. Hi, Phantom! Bugger off! Oh, more phantoms. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of phantoms around this area. Um, nope, don't you run. Pain in the ass phantoms. Oh boy. Um, do I want to drop onto this? Oh, wait. It kind of looks like glass planes. That may or may not be a record box that I just like <laughs> find the easiest way possible to get there. Hi, Phantom. Oh, that kind of looks like a record box to say the least from the top there. Do I want to drop on top of that? That seems like a mistake in a half. So let's get some help pull out first. Before I even consider some crazy move. Like jumping on top of the box! Oh! Okay. Oh boy. Oh my 
How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Like that, like that. Nope. Running. Witch is chasing me. Phantom's chasing me. <laughs> oh, everything's chasing me. Oh, shit. Well? Shit. <laughs> Alright. So I'd say we know how to get roughly to where we were. And I think that is the box right there where we died on. So we should be able to get back to our body relatively easily, luckily. Um, we'll have to jump on top of the, the sphere right here then jump onto the platform and then head over to there so we have a little bit of leeway i think um mostly because oof, um mostly because the mobs that would have spawned in that other cube over there should be um should be on delay before they're gonna spawn again so <sighs> should give us a little bit of leeway Excuse me, pardon me. Oh god. Okay, then let's run a little bit more. Woo! Run a little bit more. Oh, still running. Oh, not that way though. <laughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. Is that a way? It is a way. Oh, oh, this is the way we've been. <laughs> all right. So, I think with all of that, we have a way. We know the way. We have a way and know the way towards the record box, which is fantastic news for us, because that's going to put us in a really good position to, to um, clean out some of the inventory a little bit. That's going to put us in a fantastic position to get to where we would like to be, which is, you know, obviously, with the record. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to put us in a pretty good place to uh, continue on with what we were doing. Things that don't really matter to us right now. Okay. I need to make space on my bar for that potion. That would have saved us quite a bit, I think, in uh, that last death. But, uh, yeah. Saw that while running over. Um, okay, so I think we go through. Okay, obviously, there's a cave spider spawner somewhere up over here. Um, was it for over here or is it from? Um, just followed us. I don't know. Um, so I think we have to go through here, which leads us through to here, and then up that way leads us to. No, not there. Oh, this wasn't the way. I think it was that way. Okay, let's go this way. Pretty sure it was through here. Um, and given the amount of... Oh, oh. No blazes here yet. Oh, excuse me. Oh, okay, spiders. I'd say given the amount of leaves and stuff here, this might be a case of... Get out of here. Uh, might be a case of just lighting everything on fire and just go. Hope for the 
the best. Might be the case of lighting everything fire and hoping for the best. Um, the amount of wood and leaves and stuff could make that be a plaus. Oh, I didn't sprint. Oh, plausibility. Let's back up real quick. Okay, we're gonna make that a plausibility. <laughs> Terracotta's not going to burn, but everything else should hopefully burn. And I think we've taken care of two of the spawners, so I can't imagine there's too terribly man many more spawners in this area, but still, same time. Um, but overall, we have a good idea of where we need to go, um, or at least an easy way to get back up to where we need to go. Um, my question is, do I want to try to clear my way back that way, or just kind of zerg it. Uh, I have a feeling uh, clearing my way back is going to be the better option, ultimately. Uh, purely because of the fact that if I die, like I have um, before, um, having a reliable way back that's safe is going to be better. <laughs> Common sense, but Sometimes you gotta say it. Cave spider spawner right there, probably. More spawners that we can see. Yep, right there. Okay. Guess we didn't really need the, uh, Flint and steel approach. Though, that said, flint and steel approach always works. <laughs> Burn it in the down to the ground. Expose the infidels. Um, what do we got here? Deca cannon. I imagine it's a crossbow. Oh, so, I was gonna say crossbow. <laughs> I meant bow, but crossbow, yeah. Okay. Deck cannon, looting one. That is... Gotcha. I said crossbow when I meant bow, but apparently it was a crossbow. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> I could stay in there for the rest of eternity. Okay, um, so this area is cleared out. Let's keep moving our way up this way. Did I run past any spawners over here? I don't think I did. Okay, this one was a nice mob fill, which is probably up in the trees, which, again, might be the perfect type of area. Burn this mother down. Burn this mother down. Okay. Oh, it looks like it didn't burn that tree fully. Oh, you're that one mob. That's a knockback. Okay, let's 
see one spawner, two spawner. There's a something up there. Okay. So not like super difficult area, but um, when it's dark and you got no nothing to help you, kind of is. Oh, there's a spawner. Not today, my friend. Not today. Um, okay, let's try to get up here. I'm trying to deal with these. I know my health isn't the best, but I can recover real quick, but no longer I mess around. No longer these mobs have the opportunity to uh do their mobby things. Some more spawners around that I can see. A row. Bad things. Books medium. Um, I'm curious as to what consists of me medium with the books. Okay, there's spawn down there. Okay, I think you're just setting yourself on oh no you're coming up. Let's say I think you're just setting yourself on fire. Okay, spawner right there. We'll take that out real quick because it's a cave spider spawner. And that's just going to cause problems. Okay. That spawner's dealt with what's in the book box. Blast 4, sharp 3, power 3, efficiency 3, prop 3, fair to fall 4. There's some good stuff in there. Okay. Um, we'll have to um, investigate into those probably between... Uh, this episode and next episode, because um, those would be really good on our our gear. Ow! Ah! Phantom! Damn it all! Okay, any more spawners that I need to be aware of? Phantom. Or not, you're not being very friendly. Not being very friendly. Let's back up. <laughs> Apparently, the creeper was pissed off at something. Probably a phantom. <laughs> outside. Okay, um, so that looks to be the box that we need to get into for the record. Um, I think it's going to be in our best interest to um, go ahead and back up, um, drop off some stuff, and um, recover some soul stars, because if that's the box, if that's the record box like we were, we're, we're suspecting it is and what it looks like to be, um, we want to be at our full power. So give me a minute, and um, give me a minute, and um, get away from all the bad stuff. Give me a minute, and um, I'll recover some stuff, and I will be right back. All right, so we are back over here now that we've uh, <coughs> restored our health and soul stars and all that, cleaned the inventory. And now the question is going to be, what kind of chicanery <laughs> are we going to be dealing with here? Uh, I mean, we broke two of the spawners in the top. So I think overall, getting upwards is going to be our best bet. Uh, presumably, there's about three more spawners on top, plus any amount of spawners down at the bottom, plus whatever the... Where these phantoms are coming from. Wherever the fa 
phantoms are coming from. Um, let's try to get upwards atop of this. Oh, someone's, of course someone's going to message me. <laughs> You're the witch. Is there another one? Nope. There's that phantom spawner. Is there another phantom? That looks like a phantom. Okay. Did I deal with all the major things already? <laughs> I think I have. Oh boy. I mean, the only other major thing is just dealing with the witches, which... Do I want to deal with the witches? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Is this gonna work? Do I have a mining fatigue or something? I don't know, it kind of looks like it's slowly pressing. Okay. Ah, oh, there's another one. Well, if I don't have to deal with the witches down there. Yes, I should go through the side of it. Oh, there's a frisky witch down there. Apparently sees me cl enough. That's trying to hit me. Hey! I hear you! Oh, we got a record! <laughs> Hurrah! Alright, um... Probably are. Um, let's uh, heal up real quick before we go. Um, getting crazy with the witches nearby, but um, there's definitely more in this area that we need to investigate into. Um, I think there's probably, if I had to guess, there's probably a few of the uh, orbs, the globes that I missed. Uh, okay, that witch is really hard. Hard and intent on coming after me. Um, okay, good. Um, there's probably a couple of these globes that I haven't gone into. I know the ears. At least one. <laughs> Two. Probably more than that. But there's a few globes that we haven't gone into. Uh, I suspect they're probably more Luke globes than anything. Um, which, right now, our intent was uh, getting a record, so off screen we can come back here probably won't be happy to come back here but i can come back here um but it looks like there is a couple uh globes that we can come back to uh plus we have all this stuff on the outside it doesn't look like it's uh just given that we only have four records left the outside stuff doesn't look like it's necessarily geared towards um being a record related something so doesn't really encourage us to go out there outside of um it kind of looked like there was some netherite ores maybe or netherite something so depending on the difficulty of the other areas it might encourage us to go over there but i don't know but yes we got ourselves a record we'll quickly make short work of this and head back to base luckily it's not a huge travel so it's not an issue to just run back real quick i mean we could cut and it would save us all of a you know 10 seconds but let's do it we're here <laughs> fantastic all right so we have ourselves a new record we completed our first area of intersection four Woo i feel if i went a different route it would probably would have taken significantly longer to uh, uh, complete that area but hooray um, so we have dual is it the first record it is the first record haha <laughs> I have a feeling this is the order you like you're kind of intended to go through so I picked the right first one perfect next one is fleet followed by terminate and then ascension all right, well, that's going to do it for today, everyone. Thanks for joining, as always. We got ourselves a record. We got ourselves some stuff. 
Uh, there's still more stuff to explore in that area, but we'll probably do that off screen if, nece if necessary. Uh, but thanks for joining as always, everyone. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye!